weeks have slipped by fast. The first strangeness of hospital life has become routine. Sometimes a man learns something new. The ranger always did want to play guitar. Now the days begin to seem long. There's the old healthy sound of belly aching in the air. Spinach, spinach again. And how about a good movie for a change? And how about putting some ice cream in the ice cream soda? No longer is a man shut up within the lonely recesses of himself. He is breaking out of his prison into life. The life that lies ahead offering infinite possibilities for happiness and sorrow. How does a man find happiness? Is there a secret to discover? What is the mysterious ingredient that gives joy and meaning to living? You know in the Bible where it says, man does not live by bread alone. Children don't grow up well without safety and confidence. If that wasn't in one's childhood, in growing up, you could say, now there was something missing during all that time. And the next question is how to supply it. And it does need to be supplied. Not all of the learning and all of the books is half as valuable in getting over nervousness as to find someone that you esteem, that you can learn to feel safe with, where you can get a feeling of being accepted cherished, where you get a feeling that you are worthwhile and that you are important to someone. You could say, the feeding that you didn't get, that's something more than bread, when you were little, you still need to get it. You still need to be fed with <coughs> acceptance and to find the safety. In other words, knowledge alone is not enough. Eight weeks have passed. What about these men? Are they ready for discharge? How complete is their recovery? <laughs> How about the boy in right field? I just didn't care what happened to me. How about the kid at bat? Lots of was covered by dirt. I was covered up for 29 hours afterwards until they found me. How about the umpire? Hot, 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 leave it. Get my words, words out. You're out, go on. Batter up. How about this kid? How about him? Are 
Are they well enough to be discharged? That is for the doctors to decide at tomorrow's boarding. The answer is yes. This is your last military formation. Today, you're returning to your homes, your families, and friends. Many of you have been looking forward eagerly to this day. But remember, when you re-enter civilian life, on your shoulders falls much of the responsibility for the post-war world. May your lives as civilians be as worthy as your records as soldiers. Good health, good fortune, and Godspeed. <laughs>